I am rebuilding this, a Yamaha YZF 1000R Thunder Race. And when I got it, it looked like this. A bike that had been left forgotten about for over 20 years. It was in a bad way, but I was going to do my best to try and restore it. And since it had this dent to its alloy frame, it meant I had to remove the whole engine and source a replacement frame. During the rebuild, there has been many hurdles, but in the last episode, me and my girlfriend, we managed to finally fit the original engine into the replacement powder coated frame. And in this episode, we will continue to rebuild this old 90s sports bike. Right then, these are the original headers. And if you weren't aware, they are in fact headers with a particular valve inside of them. What Yamaha call X-up valve. These are prone to going wrong. And of course, this one has in fact gone wrong. What we have here is some Black Widow headers. And here we have our lovely, clean, fresh, brand new Black Widow headers. Now, not only are they stainless steel, but also what I love about these headers is Black Widow, they number them up. This one, for example, has got four and three on it and the letter B. And what that means is come installation makes life a lot easier. And installation is exactly what we're about to do. While the headers were off the bike and before installing the new downpipes, I used this opportunity to replace the oil filter. In a previous upload, some of you advised me to smear oil around the filter before installing. So I'm taking your advice on board. Now we start on installing the Black Widow headers with their new gaskets. And I just nip up the bolts at this stage because we need to ensure the exhaust is aligned before we tighten everything up. So this is why I love the fact that Black Widow number their header pipes because I've discovered I've installed them incorrectly. I've put four, three, two, one, but it should be the other way around. So don't sweat because I can just simply click my fingers. Magic. Next step is to help align those header pipes. What I've got here is actually the original slip-on for this Yamaha Thunder Race. Very dirty, could do with a proper cleanup. I am actually considering using this exhaust again, but for now what it's going to do is come in handy because I can just align those header pipes. Oh, and look what we have here, your favorite kind of grease. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me using copper grease on the exhaust studs. So that's the exhaust all installed. Next up I'm thinking carburetors. The carburetors are down here. The carburetors have been fully rebuilt with a rebuild kit and they have been uh, sonic cleaned as well. Lovely! First we attach the throttle cables and this can be a little fiddly. But with a little patience they are attached. Before installing these rubber fixings, I gave them a little clean up in warm soapy water. Then pop them onto the carbs. They have letters marked on the rubbers to indicate left or right, and this recess will pick up on the engine inlet. 
Popping the carbs into place required quite a bit of force, so I used my body weight to help. So as we know, this is quite an old bike. And what old bikes tend to come with is a choke. This is the choke cable. <laughs> Where's this supposed to go? Somewhere. <laughs> this isn't the first time this choke cable has caught me out. When the engine was being removed, I missed it then too. Okay, slight issue. We have the choke on this bike and that cable is still attached. Kill me. <laughs> Just kill me. Come to think of it, I actually do know where it goes. It attaches here and then it hooks on that lever there. So I'll whip off the left handlebar switch gear to attach one end of the cable to the choke lever. Then I attach the other end of the choke cable. And look at that, a functioning choke. Now we move on to the radiator. And before I reinstall this, I decided to remove the cooling fans in order to give them a little glow up. You can actually see these shrouds through the fairing if you look hard enough. So I felt it would be a bit of a shame to leave it looking rusty. As we wait for those to dry, I'm going to crack on with installing other parts to the bike and then we'll come back to installing the radiator. This is a side stand switch, which for safety should cut the engine if you put the bike in gear when the side stand is still down. Now we fit the gloss black powder coated side stand. We also might as well fit the spark plug leads at this stage, which are numbered one to four to indicate what order they go. And these are the coil packs. Now I mentioned that Yamaha have a X-up valve in their exhaust system. This here is part of the X-up. We need to install this onto the bike to confuse or kid the bike into thinking that the X-up valve is still in play. This was the cable that would have ran to the exhaust system, but of course we fitted black widow headers. We'll go ahead and pop this on and trick the bike. Attached and plugged in, we grab the fuel pump next. And this is a fuel filter. Looks like it done a great job because it is filthy. So this new filter should be a nice little treat. And now we attach the fuel pump to the bike. All right, so hammer righted and all back together again. Obviously it's not going to look amazing, okay, because I've brushed it on, I understand. But it's kind of in the background and now it's not so rusty anymore and the hammer right should just help protect it. Let's whip it on the bike. I think I've made a little boo-boo here. This radiator hose, I believe, is supposed to go on the inside of the frame, between the frame and the engine. So I'm going to hopefully try and squeeze that through because that clearly doesn't reach the top of the radiator. If I route it through the frame, then I reckon that will that'll work.
I am a professional, mate. Well, we are still making great progress. Though I'm going to look to end this one here, I do want to say that in the next upload on this Thunder Race, I want to go for a first start. Yes, I want to attempt to start it. If you're new here, let me tell you, this bike has been an absolute epic. So in the next upload, I'm going to be one nervous, but two also very excited. So if you want to be sure to see that, subscribe, join me, because this channel is all about my professional abilities as a mechanic. No, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a wannabe. But yeah, if you want to see that video, be sure to subscribe. But I'm going to end this one here. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you on another one very soon. See you later.